Welcome back to my show. I'm the Beer Adventure. I'm Carissa. And on this episode, I'm finally getting around to doing the OG Sam Adams, the Boston Lager. It's a lager. I'm not a, usually a lager liker. <laughs> a lager liker? Not a lager. Or not a lager liker? Not a lager liker. Uh, okay. Okay. Here's the deal for me with Sam Adams. I think I felt like, as being a bartender, when Sam Adams came out, it got lots of accolades. Because it had a lot more oomph to it than a lot of beers that people were used to. And then I think so many new beers came out that were crazy that it just kind of fell off a little bit. And it, to me, it doesn't get the accolades that it deserves anymore. That being said, I have over 600 videos uploaded and I haven't done this. I also haven't drank one of these in well over two years there for a while i was drinking them on a regular basis so it just comes into for some reason a really good beer gets kind of pushed to the back i don't know why but i decided tonight it was getting it's just desserts <laughs> this is five percent okay yeah uh 30 ibus all right See, not light, colored. I know you like darker beers. I also I know I you're do. not a lager liker. I'm not a lager liker. I never heard it that way before, but whatever. Okay. All right. It's not like a lager. I am a lager liker. All right, I smell lots of malt. Kind of a little bit of a caramel. I'm going in. I already know I like it. She's smooth. Caramelly. A little bit of hops. Oh, thank you. Mm -mm. A little bit of hops in my butt. That's all you taste at the back end is hop. Oh, God, dog. Told you I'm not a lager liker. But most lagers don't have this much hops. Mm. I've had some that I did like that were not this. Really? I guess I missed the boat on this one. I thought you were going to like that more. Mm -mm. That aftertaste is great. I kind of like that aftertaste. I mean, if you've watched the show before, you know that part of what, for me, beer is, is beer's a time machine. Here we go. Uh, whatever, <laughs> man. Beer takes you back. You're drinking. What you drink mm -hmm. takes you back to when you were, you know, you were 21 in college going to this bar and that was the thing you drank. You... It, it take, so, takes you back to when you made bad decisions. <laughs> Damn. Gotcha. <laughs> that was a gotcha. That was. That was a gotcha. <laughs> um, this was one of the first beers when I really got into beer experimenting and looking at that. I was just like, yeah, that's better than what I've been drinking. There's more flavor. There's more to it. There's more substance. Um, more flavor is not necessarily good. Not if it's a bad flavor. Well, fine. I don't like it. I'm still not a lager liker. I do. I like this. I don't like it. Now, do I like it as much as Sam Adams Oktoberfest? Nope. No, I don't either. Uh, Sam Adams Oktoberfest. I've had some great Sam Adams that I really like. This ain't it, honey. <laughs> He's not even Um Yeah, this this one I do like. I enjoy it. I think it's a good beer. Good I've liked it since I first started drinking this. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've had one. It's still good to me. I let you have it. I, I did. I took your drink. It's bullshit. Um, I don't know. 
I like Sam Adams. I like the majority of the things they make. Hell, one year I even, a buddy of mine hooked me up and got me to where I got some Utopias. That stuff's insane. Um, so, Sam Adams makes good beers. And they do good for the beer community, too. I'm not saying, so, oh. I don't like the style. And I'm not saying, like, Sam Adams lagers trash. No, I don't like lagers. Oh, yeah. I'm going to find a freaking lager that you like. I've had some that I like. Yeah, there are very none few. Of, we can't remember what it was. Yeah, and they're very few and far between. Oh, I don't know. Just... There's something about Ooh. lagers you don't enjoy. I don't like the fucking aftertaste. Oops. Excuse me. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't, I don't like the after, oh, it's so hoppy on the back. Oh. Well, if you guys are enjoying this video, <laughs> and I really hope you are, um, hit me with a like. Uh, if you subscribe, and I hope you do, ring the bell, you'll get three of these a week. Lord help you. Me and my friends <laughs> will have beers together. Uh, join in the conversation. Let's talk about it in the comments. Is there a lager you think Miss Carissa should try? Maybe maybe we can find it. Maybe we'll try it. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I've had some good things that people have suggested. Uh -huh. And I've also had some... Yeah. Uh, I'll see what I can find to put in the description. In the description, you'll also find my uh, social media links. You'll also find my merch store. This is one of the shirts from the merch store. Drink good beer with good friends. Or a trashy beer with good friends. Though. This is not a trashy beer show. Uh, <laughs> it's Redbubble, man. There's, the, the, my, my designs are on all kinds of things from stickers to shirts to shower curtains and mouse pads. Um, yeah. So, and look, there will be some new ones coming up. Um, now. No, I didn't dig it. Did you dig it? I did. No? Nope. Would you have another? Nope. I will. Nope. Not having a uh, Does it have any seekability? Come on, man. It's Sam Adams Boston Lager. It's it's out there. It is it, how many would you put in a pick six? I think it's, if you've never had one, put one in a pick six. Uh, it, it just, you know, you're not happy with it? That, that happens. Um, it happens. It's okay. I like to rate my beers on a scale of one pint to ten pints. abstaining yeah I mean it's probably fantastic for a logger I don't name loggers okay well I give it a seven it's it's above average for I, I like it okay there you have it until your next beer adventure cheers I'm not drinking this <laughs> by the way I've got some things that she'll like to drink this evening you will.